is Nadri Wong. I'm employed at the Jamaica Public Service Company where I serve as an engineer. Presently, my job title is TND, Transmission and Distribution Engineer, and I work in the engineering projects department where we carry through projects, most of which are geared at the moment in our substation. Our substation is a facility, facility where we move from the generation with the power flow onto the substation and then onto our distribution network. So we have quite expensive equipment such as transformers, circuit breakers, switches to structure and all of that facility there that all is where the bulk of my work is concentrated, whether it be expanding or replacing the equipment. Is your job dangerous? If untrained, it is dangerous, but for the trained person, I would say it's quite a comfortable place to be. And do you enjoy what you do? I do, I do. I like to see the transformation, so even though the process might be challenging, but the end result is a beauty to know that we as a team were able to pull together and achieve that success. And how long have you been an engineer? Well, <laughs> I started at JPS back in 2002, so that puts me at just about 21 years. Started as a technician engineer and then transitioned to the engineer that I am. And did you always want to be an engineer? Not necessarily an engineer, but something in the technical field, as I had a great appreciation of physics when it came to the science subjects. So engineer was my next um, option along that line. Okay, and you work in a male-dominated field. What would you say are the major challenges as a woman being an engineer? From what I've heard in the past, I would say there, the challenges aren't so great at the moment because the men have embraced us. There are quite a number of female engineers. When I started back in 2002, the number was very small but have increased with time and we are treated quite well among our male colleagues here at JPS and I would like to believe that that extends to other companies. And in comparison to when you started in 2002, what are the major differences now versus then that you experience as a woman? Well, in terms of my personal development, I would have just finished studying at a diploma level. so. I was more theory oriented, so along the line I've gotten experience and so that has helped me to develop professionally. In terms of the workload, we have some level of greater advance in our technology. So where we would have moved from an age oil circuit breaker which would require more frequent maintenance or we have changed the devices such as our SF6 circuit breaker which require less maintenance. So I am witnessing the evolution of technology here at GPS. And how long did you study to become an engineer? I studied for three years with the diploma mm -hmm. and then I went back and did a accelerated degree for about 18 months. By then I would have been an engineer with my degree but I went on to pursue master's studies mm -hmm. for about well it was an extended period doing it part-time but I've also achieved that mastery all of which was done at the University of Technology Jamaica. And what would you say is the most difficult aspect of your job? The most difficult aspect can be obtaining resources for me on a personal basis. So having planned to carry out a task, the resource might have other competing activities that they would have to pursue. Also in terms of resource, the equipment for a truck breaking down when you have an outage going on and you're not able to carry through as planned. Those can be challenging, but we always find a way to make something work. You mentioned resources. What exactly are these resources? Resources in terms of personnel. So if I need to change a transformer, it will require a team with specializing from our protection that deals with relays, etc. There will also be personnel required from the substation who are the technicians to actually do the hands on to pull the old and have the new one assembled and we em employ contractors as well to provide services that will contribute to a, a successful replacement. So if these human resources, both internally and contracted, are otherwise engaged or not available, 
then that will be a big challenge to have our activities accomplished within schedule and within budget. Do you have any advice to any music girl out there who one day wants to become an engineer? Okay, I would encourage you to appreciate the science and if you do that, then you'll be able to pursue the studies required. Having achieved the studies, go out and get your experience. Don't be discouraged, even though it may be a male-dominated field, because presently that is also changing. And so with time and with the passion, you can do it, you can excel. There are other females you can pull from to receive a sense of encouragement and guidance as you join the female woman in engineering.